What's up guys, it's Childers and welcome back to another episode of NHL 19 Franchise Mode for your Vancouver Canucks. I just want to say before we start this, I'm sorry for not posting in about uh, two weeks or something a bit less. Uh, I've been doing a bit of school and uh, work, so I couldn't really get around to making any videos. But today and Friday will be videos and we'll keep it, keep it more consistent later. So we'll keep it like that. And now let's just jump right back into NHL. So in the last episode, we went through the NHL entry draft for the year two or the 2020 entry draft. And we took two, we got two picks and we're going to see how they are now. This year, we're going to do probably either up to the deadline or go past the deadline. I'm not sure yet. What we're going to do is go to our contracts and just see those two players. Uh, I don't remember if they're in our roster or not. So I believe, let's see. No, so I think they're in the system. Uh, they probably have question marks for their overalls, right? Yeah, here you go. So we had here go Deluca and Clower I picks, right? Yeah, we have them both the contracts. Uh, how do I check here? Fourth overall and Deluca was third overall, right? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna call up Deluca and Clow and play them during the preseason, so we get a bit of a knowing where their uh, overall is. So we'll go to our edit lines. Okay, everyone has two or three bars. We don't know what overall they are fully yet. Uh, let's see. So in the system, one. Go oh, answer the question mark. So it's Deluca and Klaus. We're gonna call them up right now. Uh, why can't I call them up? Allow a player limit. We have to. We have to send someone down. So we're gonna send down. Uh, how many defense do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So we'll send Good Branson down. All right. There you go. So that's that. We'll do our edit lines. And we'll do a best lines first. And what we'll do is we're gonna play. So Deluca's already here. He's projected as a depth forward as his role. So we'll leave him on the third line for now. Maybe play him on the fourth line. And no, I'll leave him on the third line. I'll give him some ice time. And on defense, we'll take out Ben Hutton. And we'll put Klo. Just for now. He is a top six defense. So he could be NHL ready right now. If he's a 78 overall or a 79, I might consider. Uh, you know, I might send them down anyways. He is a, what's he again? 280? Defensive defenseman, alright. So, we'll do that. Yep, goalies. Demko's an 84, but only 3 bars. We have these guys scratched, so we'll see how they are after. So, Ben Hutton most likely will make the lineup, will make the uh, starting roster. So, we're going to do the best lines over here. Yep, whatever. We'll switch to NHL. And we'll do is we'll sim to we'll do one game at a time. We'll just do advanced days so we could see if we get a when we get the overalls for our prospects. So advanced day on San Jose. And we win 4-2. That's good. So let's see. Do we already get uncovered? So the Lucas at 80 overall at three bars. So that's good to see. And Klaus 81 at three bars. So we already got a bit of a around where they're at. We'll do two games after and we'll see where they're where they are. So LA, loss, and finally Calgary, a win, one nothing. All right, so now maybe we might get a full uh, coverage. The Lucas still three bar. So Klaus is a 79 overall. All right, so we know that this is for sure. He's a 79 overall. I'm pretty sure he's medium elite. We drafted my medium elite. So we know where he's at. 79 overall. You will leave you. We're not sure yet. So... Klau could make the roster. Um, I don't. I'm not too sure yet, but we know what Klau is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take out Klau and put in. Uh, I'm gonna put in. Uh, where is he? They're Ben Hutton and Trust. I'm gonna put in Stature because Hutton is gonna make the lineup. So let me check Hutton and see where he's at. So we'll keep that there. Uh, and also wait. I'm gonna go back to at the lines. I just want to see where we have any guys at 4 bar. So Besser's at 4 bar at 89 overall. So we know he's an 89. So what I'm going to do is actually put Deluca at that position. We'll change him with Blanchard. And we'll take out Besser for Leipzig. Just so we, know we can uncover Leipzig a bit more. So at least now I get we can uncover more players. So what we'll do is we'll do Edmonton and see if Deluca gets covered. 
So Edmonton 3-2 win, alright, that's great. DeLuca, does he get covered now? Uh, still a 3 bar with any 4 bars. Yeah, so Beagle's a 4 bar. 77, so he's going to be a 4 liner for us. Uh, so I should put him down to the 4 line. Vertanen is also a 4th liner. We'll leave him on the 3rd line for now. What's his face off? So we know what it is around. Not good. Leipzig, do we have an idea? No. Eves, not good. Boucher, none of, none of that's good. Alright, so we're we're so unsure of where that's going to be. Uh, We'll do actually, we'll put Rogers here. I believe Horvat has better face-offs, right? Yeah, it looks like he has better face-offs. So we'll do... The Luke is actually doing pretty good. Two goals, two assists in four games. We'll do Anaheim. Uh, we'll do Vegas. Let's see. We went for two. The Luca looks like got nothing, but Rogers is uh, four points now. And we still haven't uncovered the Luca. How about defense? We uncover anyone else? Nope. So I'm gonna go to a sim regular season, and we're just gonna see what happens. There's two games left. So I mean, I don't think the Luca will get uncovered. I mean, I don't think our defense is all uncovered by the, those two games. So let's see. Uh, oh, uh, what? Um, we already have scouts good, right? And we have NHL. Yeah, NHL is good. We have HL, North Atlantic Pacific. And we should have a Central. Yep. WHL, OHL. And we need a QMJHL. Uh, uh, yeah, here QMJHL. We have USA Central, USA West. And USA East, we have Liga, we need SHL, yep, uh, NLA, I think that's Czech Republic and Russia, so that's good. Extra League is Russia, sorry. I know what NLA is. But yeah, so scouts are good. So now preseason's over, let's go to Ed Alliance and see what's happening. So DeLuca is still not sure as an AD overall. Uh, anyone else we found out? No. Okay, so we'll do best lines. And we'll keep the Luke on the third line for now. What I might do is I might consider putting Rogers onto the second on the third line with Horvat on the second line, playing next to Berchi and should put Boucher. Um, no, you know I think we should do this. We'll keep this. Who's a better playmaker? Puck skills, eighty-one passing. We have a little uncovered, eighty-two. Boucher, 82. We'll put Vertan in here. Yeah, we'll leave Vertan there. Let's go to Luca. What's his face off? 77. So we actually put Deluca at center, but we'll leave him at left wing for now. On defense. Um, so we, no one got uncovered. What we could do, since we know Klaus is a 79 overall, top 6 D. And we have... Oh, uh, Uolevi is a top 6D. We don't know what he is. Puglia is a top 4D. Strawman's a top 4D. Kylan Foot's top 4. And Hughes is top 4. So none of you guys are scouted fully yet. I could consider not playing Ben Hutton. But I'm not sure that's a smart idea. So you know what I might do is I might do some I might do some uh, sending down. Some uh, roster moves. Uh, we'll go to our defenseman. And what I might do is I might consider sending Cloud down. He will be to the minors. We'll have to call someone up. So I'll send him down. I'll send Stature down as well. And we'll call up Good Brands because of that cap hit, right? This should work. No. All right. Let's call uh, this McKenny guy. Is he nothing special? We'll call him up. So now it should work. All right. Perfect. So this will be our scratches just for the salary cap to be good. So we're going to have Patterson, Besser, Blanchard. Uh, Blanchard's what again? Two-way forward. Two-way forward, playmaker, sniper. That's pretty good. Then we'll have a sniper, two-way forward, and Rogers is a playmaker. Alright, that's good also. So I'll leave this how, how it is right now. Um, the Luca, we'll see how he grows. We might send him down, if anything. Foot will play with Hughes. Good balance. Strawman with Pouliot. And then Hutton and Uolevi. And we'll see how they grow after a while. So Scratch will have Leipzig. Uh, do you want Leipzig as a Scratch? We'll leave him as Scratch for now. So now what we'll do is we'll simulate a week. And we'll see how our team ends up doing. So what I'm expecting now is, again, not a playoff team. But um, 
maybe top 10, 10 and 15 pick is what I'm expecting this year. So starting off one week in, we are going to be one and three. But again, we're against Toronto and Tampa, two very good teams. We beat Colorado in a shutout. So now let's see if anyone got uncovered a bit more. Oops, not trade players. That was an accident. Uh, oops, what am, I, what am I doing? Okay, edit lines. There you go. Sorry about that. Um, so Blanchard's an 84. Pedersen's a 90. That's really good. The Luka's a 78. So I could send the Luka down. That might be the smartest choice to be sending the Luka down to the minors. Uh, Vertanen, Isa 79. Boucher's a 77. Roussel 77. So uh, what I might do is I might put Leipzig over the Luka. And send the Luka down. And that's what I'm going to do, yeah. So Leipzig is listed as what? A fourth liner. Fourth line. Fourth line. Boucher is depth. Eves is depth. Fourth line. So that's not good. Hughes is an 82. Foots an 84. So that discovered. Yolier is an 80. Hutton still an 81. Undiscovered. And Strawman and Puyar both 82. And in goalie, Demko is an 88. So see Demko, we made the right choice in trading away... Um, What's his name? Uh, Mark Shum. Because Demko's an 88 and he's 24 years old. So he could still grow. Kemper, he hasn't played yet. So we don't know what he can, what he's capable of. And the Luka, we'll send him down right now. So unfortunately, Luka and Klo will not stay in our roster. And uh, what am I doing? Uh, go to roster moves. Let's go to forwards. The Luka. Under the salary cap, so we have, to we have to call someone to replace the Luca. We'll just go with uh, do we draft this guy? Six round, twenty fifteen. All right, we'll call yeah Jastic just so he could be our scratch. And now what we'll do go to edit lines. Jeu has three points in two games. Not bad, not bad. Jeu will be playing the Luca on our first line, right? Yeah, the Luca Sutter and Lind. Uh, we'll play Godet over Sutter. God, that's what a four liner. E yeah, we'll do that. Claw will play with Stetcher. No, we'll do Claw with Wu. Because Wu is uh, 70 overall, I'd imagine. Stetcher will be here with Chatfield. And yep. We have any potential guys on Scratch that we know of? Uh, I don't think so. Gardener. No. None of these guys look good. So that said, uh, goalies of any prospects, we have... Um, don't we have uh, Michael DiPietro? No, we traded DiPietro, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's set. This is good. Let's uh, let's do this, right? Let's do another week of simulating, and we should have everyone uncovered, I believe. So we're against Buffalo is 1-4. Uh, we should beat Buffalo. Buffalo, Philly, and Florida. So let's go after one week. Buffalo, you lose in shootout. That's not what I wanted. Philadelphia, oh, got her 5 0. We lose, yep. Florida, we lose to them also. We're not starting off good. I don't like that. I don't want to be another bottom feeding team. Uh, Berchi with 5 points. I might put Berchi, uh, I must switch up the Lions, seeing how they're doing. So Berchi's in 83. Horvat's still unco not uncovered, and so's Rogers. Our uh, four lines still like that. Hutton is still uncovered. Still, sorry, still not uncovered. We'll put Berchu with Blanchard. We'll switch them up. We'll see how Besser is doing. Three goals, four points. Pedersen, four points. Blanchard, three points. So we get a bit more offense from our first line. So let's try Berchu on the first line now. So let's simulate another week. Let's try and get some wins here. So Nashville is a pretty okay team. And so St. Louis. Let's try and win those two games. So, oh, draft class. Alright, let's see the draft class. So, I have this guy Huxley, Clefbaum, and Wen Wennerberg. Now, Wennerberg and Clefbaum will be the best options. Preferably Wennerberg. Our scout says he's a first overall. Uh, oh, no, sorry. It doesn't make sense. Uh, so, this is Huxley's first by Central Scouting and our scout. And Huck Wennerberg looks like our player that we want. Either Wennerberg or one of these guys. Maybe maybe plus. Left-handed. Left-handed. They're all left-handed. So Nashville. Can we beat Nashville? 
OT loss, St. Louis, OT loss. All right, so it's better than nothing, I guess. Um, But still, we're not starting off great. I need to get some wins, but let's see. So Berchi is still doing well, five goals now. Let's see if everyone got uncovered now. So Besser's an 85 and Rogers is also an 85. His face-offs is 79, Horvat is a 84. So that's good. Blanchard has 78 face-offs as well. Berchi, 88 passing. He looks really good. 91 passing for him. Uh, so 5 goals, 2 assists. 4 goals, 2 assists. 1 goal, 6 assists. So they're all doing a bit better. But yeah, you know, I think it's still, uh, like, how's our goalies doing? Demko, he's still not doing well. And that could be we still have a good team, but we might have to make a move potentially for, um, for uh, actually a roster player. We might actually trade for a good player this time. So let's just go to the end of the month and then we'll, okay, we'll do regular simulating. So Pittsburgh should out win, all right? We scored four goals. That's what I want to see. Uh, Washington, overtime loss, not, not, not bad. And Islanders, what happened? We Overtime loss again. So we're getting a lot of overtime losses. We're 2-5-5. Five, and five. Uh, Technically, we're 2-10, and ten, which isn't good. But Bessier is starting to score some goals now. So that line is clicking. We're scoring some goals. Um, We'll look one more time at the players we got, they got uncovered. So our entire offense is uncovered. And on defense, Hutton's an 81 overall. So that's all solid. We'll check our minor league team. So Collins is 74, Sutter's a 78. Uh, nothing else. Palmo's a 70. We have Wu is a 70. Chatfield is a 75. Stetcher's a 79. Brisebois. Brisebois could be a good prospect for us. I might give him a bit more ice time. Actually, I don't, that's not even possible. Um, yeah, we'll leave this as is. So that's set. Uh, let's go do some regular simulating for one more month and then we'll look at how our team is doing. So we have a game against Calgary. I saw that. We should try and win that. We're against some Pacific. We're, sorry, what was that? We're in the Pacific. We got some Pacific wins. So Calgary, Vegas are important. Arizona is important. LA, Vegas again. Arizona again. Uh, Connor Sherry, not interested. LA again. And that's it. So St. Louis. Loss, that's okay. Uh, good year for rookies. We don't have any rookies, so that's not good. Vegas, let's try one versus Vegas. We do, all right? So we're getting some wins now. Buffalo, I don't really care about Buffalo. 7-2 loss, all right. Dallas and Winnipeg. So I don't really care about those. Preferably one win would be great. And we shut out Winnipeg. I mean, sorry, we shut out Dallas. We lose to Winnipeg. Lose to Chicago. Lose to Minnesota. <laughs> Arizona, LA, Arizona, LA. That's uh, interesting, but we got win versus those teams. So let's see. Arizona. I have a trade. Tyler Myers for a second rounder. Uh, no. And we win versus Arizona. That's good. We lose to LA, only one nothing. But we win to Arizona again. That's great. LA and Vegas. We have to win one of these games. Just one. And we beat Vegas. Okay. So we showed a bit of improvement. You know, now we're at. Uh, we're at 8 wins, we're 8 and 13. Let's see how our offense has been doing. So Besser has actually slowed down a bit. He only scored 4 goals in, in 13 games. We're still last place, but we're not last place by a mile. There's a lot of teams that are bad. So what I'm going to do now, we'll look at our team stats. See how our players are doing. I might consider switching Berchi with Blanchard again. But yeah, Berchi has 15 points. Patterson has 18 I mean, we're all minuses. Callan Foot has eight. Yeah, our team just isn't winning games. We're missing the we're missing a superstar defenseman. We need that. Um, I might consider switching Blanchard and Rogers and uh, Berchi. Maybe one more time. Or I might uh, no 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 what I might do um, I might put Rogers on the first line. He's a playmaker, right? Yeah, and he has ninety passing. Let's try this out. Let's try Berchi on the right wing. Uh, Horvat and Blanchard. So we'll put Rogers, Patterson, and Besser. We'll leave that as is right now. We'll look at our team stats and we'll see where we're struggling. And imagine it be goals against. So let's see. So we are 
I'd imagine we're the worst team in the league, right? Boston is the best team in the league, and we are... Yeah, we're last place. So goals for per game, we're only at two, which is tied for worst. Goals against, we're last. Power play... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 11th uh, worst, which is okay. Penalty kill, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we are not good at all. So I might change up our penalty kill on our power play as well. Because I want to start getting some wins. You know, you don't want to be last place again. I don't see us as being a last place team anymore. Our offense is good. Our top six is really good. Our bottom six could use some work, and our defense still needs a star. But like depth wise, on our defense is good. But like if we had like an 88 over here and uh, instead of Hutton, we'd have like Hughes here, Pouliot there, and Hutton, and like an 88 overall. Let's just say like, I don't know, I can't really think of anyone now, but an 88 overall defenseman on the left D, that'd be really good for us defensively, for us defensively. Goaltending, Demko, he improved a bit, but he's still not doing good. Quemper, or Kumper, is actually pretty good and only two wins at a 921 save percentage. So that goalie tandem is okay, I guess. Special teams, we'll put Besser. Um, What's Callum Foote's offensive awareness? 85, Quinn Hughes, 89. We'll put Quinn Hughes up here with Derek Pouliot. Because Yolevi has 84. All right, so leave that. I could put Blanchard. What's Blanchard? 84, and Berchi, 87, Horvat, 88. I could do this, take out Yolivi, Pouliot in foot, uh, Blanchard will play center, and a wing I'll have, we'll put Vertanen I guess, so that'll change up the power play a bit, Besser, yeah, this will keep the same, uh, Pouliot, we'll put, uh, we'll put Hughes in, and Pouliot, foot in Yolivi, on defense, we'll put Bo Horvath on the first one. Uh, Patrick Eves' defensive awareness is... Where is it? Where's defense? Uh, 83. Beagle. 83, but it's 85 face-offs. Leipzig. 85, so we'll, we'll change out Eves, I guess. What's Besser's defensive awareness? 89. Actually, you know, we'll put Besser. Put him on that first line with, with Horvath. All right, do that. Penalty kill. Do this and that. Yep. Uh, Colin Foot. Puyas defensive awareness is 85, Colin Foot is 86, Hughes 87, and Hutton 85, so we'll do that. What is Uolevi's, or Uolevi? 84, so we'll leave it like that, alright? Uh, goalies, yep, that'll be, that'll say the same. So now let's keep the simulation going, we'll do another month. Hopefully we see a bit of improvement in our team. Maybe Rogers is the missing piece with Patterson and Besser. So let's go one more one more month. Uh, Edmonton, we should want to we want to beat Edmonton. We do, all right. That's a good sign. Rangers, we lose, but San Jose, we beat San Jose. Come on, uh, Central Scout ranking. All right, that's good. That's good to see. Let's see Central Scouting. Ah, uh, do we discover? We didn't discover Hux. We have a scout assigned for him, right? Yeah, scouted by Barnett. Does anyone scouting Barnett? Uh, how do I check this again? Yeah, Korean being signed by Alexander Dennis. So we're missing a, we're not, we don't have a lot of guys scouted, but again, we're only uh, like two months in, so that's all right. We lose to San Jose, but Montreal, we lose. Florida, we lose. All right, we're on a losing streak now. We beat Islanders. Carolina, can we win versus Carolina? Yes, all right, we're on a win streak now. Colorado, they're 500. Yes, there we go, another shootout win. And I'm San Jose, Edmonton, San Jose. We're in a four game, uh, Pacific Division, we lose two games in a row. Edmonton, we win versus Edmonton. Can we beat San Jose one more time? Come on, let's just beat San Jose. And we lose. We're scoring goals, we lost. So this is the last time we're playing San Jose. Can we beat them and we lose in shootouts? So we got one point out of the four games versus San Jose. And finally, Boston, they're the best team in the league, I believe. So let's see. This won't be good, I'd imagine. Uh, Justin Schultz? Let's, uh, let's look at Schultz. He could be a high rated D. 83 overall, no, not worth it. And we beat Boston. All right, so we got it. We showed a bit of improvement. We're at 15 wins, 19 losses, and seven overtime losses. Uh, Pedersen has 34 points in 41 games. 
We are no longer the worst team in the league. It is now Arizona. So now we're like bottom five, I believe. So we're improving a little bit. Pedersen is showing some uh, more improvement. Is our plus minus is getting a lot better. Uh, Besser has 17 goals. So Besser is scoring goals. He should hit 30 again. Horvath is doing pretty good. Uh, yeah, so I think... Uh, no, Rogers isn't doing good. I don't know why he's not doing good. He has all the right tools. He has the offensive line, he has the passing, his shooting is okay. We'll give a bit more time. So now what we'll do is we'll look at our team and we'll see if we improved any more. So we were at two goals against like 3.08 goals. So we're at two goals for and 3.08 goals against. So now we are 27. We have improved our goals again our goals for, but our goals against has gotten worse. Our power play was at 17%, it's stayed around the same, and our penalty kill has actually gotten a bit worse. So I'm not really not really sure what to do. We'll fix our power play again. Um we'll fix both our special teams, I guess. Uh, maybe let's go to special teams. We'll take out Horvat and we'll put in Blanchard. Let's try this. Then on this penalty kill, we'll take out Besser. And we'll put in uh, what's for Tynan's plan uh, defensive awareness? 80. Eves is 83. Uh, centers, let's put, let's see, Rogers. 89. Pedersen is 95. We should be playing Pedersen. Let's do this. Because uh, Pedersen is the best offensive center. And I'm surprised Patterson's at 2A4. I thought he was a playmaker. I might have to change that. Because that does not that does not seem right. You know what? I'm going to change it right now, actually. I know it might be considered cheating, but I haven't noticed that he was a 2A forward. I'm going to change right now to a set, to a playmaker. I'm not editing any stats. I'm just going to do... Uh, oops, wrong thing. Uh, it should be edit player, right? Yeah, here we go. I'm not changing stats. I'm just changing what, what his uh, player type should be. Because it should not be uh, 2A forward. I know this. I watched Patterson in Vancouver. And he got injured, but he looks really good and he's a playmaker. He's like a playmaker and a scorer. But, you know, he's intended to be a playmaker, not a two-way forward. So, there you go, a playmaker. If you guys don't like it, I can always fix it again. But that could be why uh, why Bear, uh, Bester is doing as well. Because maybe two-way forward affects the ability. So, maybe this might enable Patterson to do better now that I changed them up. So, let's go into another month. Uh, so we're in January right now, we have, we'll do two more months and we'll stop at the deadline. Yeah, we will stop at the deadline. So one month, how many uh, teams are we against in our division? LA, Anaheim, that's two. We're against two teams in our division. Hopefully, we could, that's the most important one. So LA, can we beat LA? Yes. Anaheim, can we beat Anaheim? Yes. All right, so we won two in a row versus our division. I don't care about the rest. We're in a four-game winnings right now because we beat Boston and Toronto. Carolina, we're on a five-game winning streak. All right, we're racking up some wins. We're back to 500. St. Louis. Oh, we have a trade. France in for a second and a third. And a sixth, I mean. Um, I don't see the point of doing this trade. That's that's next year's pick, right? Yeah. So, St. Louis, we lose. Nashville, can we get back on the winning streak? No, we're on a losing streak now. Minnesota. Can we beat Minnesota? That's good to see. Uh, Cohen Sufer, okay, let's look at Tyler Myers. He could be a really steal of a pick, a good steal. Uh, Myers, 83 overall, never mind. Uh, this guy Cohen Su is a low top 6'4". We're not gonna, we're not gonna trade him away. We drafted him this year and the year before. We beat Chicago, so we're doing really good right now. If we beat Philly, we'll be above 500 for the first time this year. Central scouting, alright, so we've scouted this plus guy. Let's see who's compared to PK Subban. That looks really good. Um, yeah, that looks that's really solid. This Wenner Wennerberg guy, Victor Hedman, and this Clef Bomb guy, Patrick Kane. So another really good guy right here. How is he doing? Not that good. Huxley. We don't really know any comparables to him, right? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna send a scout on him. Duration, playing style, strength, weakness, skill assessment, character assessment, potential and comparison. Look at that. So we have a scout on him now. If we be, let's, Now we have to beat Philly, right? Let's be above 500. If we could beat Philly, this would be really good for us. 
a really solid month. Let's see. And we beat Philly. All right, so we are above 500, guys. For the first time, we are above 500. So maybe our power play switching and penalty kill did good. Maybe putting Patterson as a playmaker did really good for us. But we went um, this month. One, two, three, four, four and two, five, six and two. We went seven and two. That is really solid. Bester has 21 goals in 50 games, so he should still be on pace for 30, I believe. Uh, let's see how he's doing. Uh, so Patterson is a minus one. So Patterson is doing good. Horvat's doing pretty good. Rogers still isn't showing much. I might change up Rogers, but we are winning games now, so I don't know what I want to do. Uh, we'll look at our goalies. Demko has brought a save percentage above 900. Finally, that's great. He's a positive record. Uh, so yeah, let's see how our team is doing. We should no longer be a bottom five team. We are actually in a playoff spot. We're in a wild card spot, so that's really good. So we should be a top fifteen, right? No, we are actually really still bad. We're twenty third, but that's still improvement. Our goals against went up to our sorry goals for went to two point five. Was at two point four or two point three before, and our goals against dropped. It was at three point two, I think, and now it's at three. So this is solid. We are showing some improvement. Our penalty kill and power play is still not good. It still hasn't improved, so I don't know what to do about it. I'll just leave it as is now. But yeah, so we'll do one more month. We'll look at who's available to, to trade for. We're looking for a top defenseman. That's what we need. A really good defenseman or a good defensive prospect. So what we'll do up to here, up to the deadline 26. So we're against Arizona. And that's it for our own division. So Arizona is the most important team to play against. So Pittsburgh and New York. We win, lose one, win one. Washington, we win. All right, so we're winning some games now. Detroit, we win again. All right, so we're scoring some goals now. Columbus, we win. Oh my God, we're on a four-game winning streak. Arizona, we need to win versus Arizona. We lose. That's not good. Detroit, we lose. We're on a two-game losing streak. But it's all right. We're still scoring goals. I care about the offense. If our offense can still perform well, I'm happy. Uh, Connor Sherry. Let's look at Sherry. Um, we'll give up a second round pick. Let's always look at Sherry. He is an interesting player. 82 overall. He'll be on our third line. A second rounder for a third liner doesn't seem worth it right now. So Columbus. They're a good team. And we lose. We're on a three game losing streak. So that four game winning streak just got negated by a three game losing streak. Can we beat Winnipeg? Let's get back on the winning streak. Come on, boys. And that just completely negated our winning streak. All right, come on. Ottawa. We lose. Come on. Don't tell me we're going to start losing games like crazy now. We lose to Boston. Jeez. New Jersey. Let's see. Come on. And we win. All right. So we got to win. Friendly one versus a team. After going one, two, three, four, five, six in a row. We've won two in a row and we're at the trade deadline. All right. So we're at the deadline. Bo Horvat's actually our best point producer at 56 points, 63 games. I don't know what happened to Bo Horvat, but he is killing it recently. Um, Besser's at 23 goals, so he hasn't been scoring. He needs 7 goals in 19 games. I hope that's better be possible. Uh, Pedersen has done a bit better. Actually, no, he's, he was at 40 and 50, right? So he's gone 13, 13 games and 8 points. That's Actually, that's pretty good. Rogers is showing some improvement. Uh, he's an 85 overall still. Berchie's an 83. Pedersen's a 90, Besser's an 89, Horvat's an 85, anyone grow? Blanchard's an 88, alright, so Blanchard's an 88 overall. Wow, look at those stats. I might move him to the first line, I think I have to. Callan Foote's an 86, that's really good. Hughes is still an 82. Uh, Oli Olevi is an 80, Strawman's an 82, Hutton's an 81, and the rest doesn't matter. Alright, goaltending. Demko is doing better. He's an 88 still. Kumper, Quemper, I don't want to say his name. Whatever. But, we have six, but uh, you know what? Danko has six shutouts. So that is good. He could potentially get 30 wins this year. So now let's see. Our goals of four was 2.5, right? So now it's at 2.57. So it's going up. We are playing a lot better. Our goals of four keeps going up. Our goals against keeps going down. Our penalty kill has been getting better. It's at 79.2 if you look at the top. And our power play is the same thing. It's just consistently the same. So we're at the deadline. We're at the 35-minute mark. Let's look at who's available to trade for. Are we, actually, are we in the playoffs? No, we're not in a playoff spot. We're one point from the playoffs. All right, so we could actually make the playoffs. 
That would be really good, but we have to trade. Uh, oops, that's not good. We have to trade for a really good defenseman. Like, really good. And I'd be willing to trade away probably Quinn Hughes. He is not going good. I mean, not going well, sorry. My English? Uh, so let's look at scra at uh, Skater's Matching Block. Let's see. So, fast? No. No. We need some potential over here. Kessler is available. Taves is available. Wow. Duncan Keith. Uh, Detroit, Vanek, Hopkins is available. All right, so Hopkins is an interesting one. Adam Larson is available. We probably need a left-handed D. Or, uh, yeah, left-handed D. So, oh, Jared Spurgeon, Ryan Suter. So, Ryan Suter is available, but he is 36 with five years left. It's not worth the contract. But Spurgeon, however, 84 overall. His, I see for sure 84. Yeah, he's a guaranteed 84 overall. He's a two-way defenseman. His defense is solid. His passing is okay. I mean, we don't have him fully scouted yet, but I mean, he's an option. Spurgeon's an option. Ah, uh, Lindback, Warner, Spooner. That's interesting. Uh, Brady Kachuk is on the trade block. Oh, boys. How is he doing? 29 goals. Oh, my God, guys. I think... This could be a potential steal. He will definitely slot in our. He'll be our uh, second liner, right? Yeah, he'll be a second liner with uh, Horvat. Uh, we could put Berchi down to our third line. It'll be solid. Make us solid. So Brady Kachuk is a really good option right now. We have Brady Kachuk available for trade. Uh, Couture is a good one also. Brent Burns, what? Thirty-five years old at five years. Five years left though. But that would be an amazing player. Evander Kane as well. That's a hefty contract. Uh, Pavelski. Pavelski would be a really good pickup. But again, we need defense. We have to work on defense. Tampa Bay. We got foot from them. So no. Rasmus Sandin. He is not that high potential. I doubt it. Um, Riley Smith. So there's a lot of forwards. Yep. Only forwards. So now let's look at defensemen. We need a left-handed defenseman that is solid all around or really good offensively. So Hampus Lindholm is an option. But who, before we do, oh, sorry, before we look at any other players, let's look at what we have available for trades. So Clow is not getting traded. He is staying in our team. Uh, defensive defenseman will be in our top four most likely for his entire career. He has really good defensive stats. Uh, Yo Levy is available for trade. We'll put him. Hughes will put available as uh, Hughes offense defenseman. Right, we could play. We could keep him and Foot together, or him and Clow. But Yo Levy is available. We'll put Wu as available as well. Strawman will keep because we need a nice player. He has how many years left? He has one year left after this. Uh, Hutton, yeah, Hutton will be available. For defensemen, goalies, any prospects? We have this Streambu guy. We could we could uh, use Streambu for us trade bait. And finally, forwards. Um, sorry, forwards. Here you go. We have Bogosian. We could trade Bogosian. Colind. We could trade Colind. We're out of the spots, but Colind. And that's it. So those are our trade baits. Who we could get? We have to look for it. We basically get a top defenseman of a team in need of goals. So Hampus Lindholm is an option. We need left-handed, remember. Lindholm, Ekman Larson. How is he doing in Arizona? Not bad. He's doing pretty well, actually. But he's offensive. Chichurin is two-way. And he is not getting that many points. We need a point, we need a point producer. McAvoy. Ooh, McAvoy. I mean, he does he have a contract? He's being... 4.5 million for for one more year after this. 88 overall. It could be a bit better. It could be 89. Could stay 88. But McAvoy, we, we would be slotting uh, Foot down to second pairing, which would move Strama third pairing. That would really make our right side better. We would have Q, uh, Hughes, Pouliot, and Stetcher. So, no, we need we still need a left-handed defenseman. So, McAvoy is not the guy. <laughs> Dalin. There's no chance I'd get Dalin. Uh, but this guy... 
Who is this guy? Was he? He's fifth overall. No, defense, defense. We can't go for defensive. Uh, Noah Hannafin? Not getting that many points. Justin Falk, Slavin, nope, or Slavin. Bokvis is right handed. Makar is right handed. Barry's right handed. I know that. Girard, I don't want Girard. Zakorinsky. He is a pretty good player. Seth Jones getting most of the points, right? Yeah, 41, 41 points. Murray? No, I think Warinsky might be the be a good option right now. I think he's number one. Uh, Heiskanen. I'd love a Heiskanen. Uh, what is he? Two-way defender, right? Yeah, so Heiskanen's an option. But I think right now Warinsky is our best bet. Was Paul the first overall pick? No, he was the fifth overall pick. Yeah, he was the one I, I skipped on. Uh, Clefbaum. Not really interested in uh, Oscar Clefbaum. Ekba, he's right-handed, but no, there's no chance. Full value, Dowdy, no. Dumba, right-handed. Again, Suter, no. Mete is 83 overall. Uh, Yossi, I wish. I wish, that's full value. There's no chance I can get him. Vatanen, no. Uh, Brady Shea, Brady Shea. This is not a bad choice, but his passing, his passing is a bit on the low side. Thomas Shabbat, oof. His how many points does he have? Oh, Shabbat looks filthy. Shabbat said he could be the guy. We had him last year in Ottawa GM mode, but I mean, Shabbat and Wierenski are two best bets. Uh, oh, watch this Norena guy. This is the guy that we missed on, right? No, no, he passed on him. He's a defensive defenseman. Provorov. Provorov. 91. Yeah, he looks good. Uh, he has how many points? 28. We could use him. We could use a Provorov. Uh, Gus's bear as well is a good one. Offensive defenseman. He has really good passing. Um, I think I think Provorov right now. Provorov, Shabbat, or Orinsky. Uh, Latang, no. Burns, Vlasic, no, no. Pareko, Pietrangelo, right handed. Hedman, there's no chance. Sergeyev is too high value. Rasmus Sandin, I don't believe it. Lilligren's an option. But he's younger, so he takes longer to grow. Morgan Riley, I could go for Morgan Riley, but that is way too much. Uh, that just doesn't make sense. Eric Brandstrom. He's more of a prospect. John Carlson's right-handed. Tyler Myers. Anthony Winnipeg. No one. So, our options is Columbus's Warinsky. Here are some of his stats we know of. He has around 89 passing. We know that he has 28 points in 62 games. Then we have uh, Philadelphia. Oh, so, we have Ottawa. We have Thomas Shabbat. Their number one defenseman. This one is a bit less realistic because he's their number one D. We know that he gets a lot of points. He has really high passing. We don't, even though it's not fully scouted, his defensive awareness is solid. His plus minus is plus five, so he is good. And Philadelphia Provorov, we know what he is. We haven't fully scouted here. Um, Ninety-one passing, he's good. He only has twenty-eight points as well, but I think he could get back. He could have a better uh, a better year when he's playing with Callum Ford or something like that. When he's getting first line power play. So, who am I leaning towards more right now? Uh, they're all 24, right? Uh, Provorov is 24. Shabbat is 24. And Columbus, uh, Warinsky is 23. So, Warinsky is the younger option. And Warinsky does make the most sense. Warinsky and Provorov make the most sense because they're not the number one D. Jones, they have Murray. They have Nurivara. You know, they have all these other guys. So, Warinsky does make sense. Looking at their forwards... I mean, they don't have Panarin anymore, so their forwards are lacking. So I think Columbus might be the one that makes the most sense. They're all Eastern teams. Let me know what you guys think. I think Columbus might be the one for um, for uh, Warinsky. But we're making we're gonna go for that playoff push. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, and remember subscribe for some more content. And I'll see you guys soon.